to go from the queen of the dance hall where you're making X amount of money. They come now and go say, boy, you're going to serve Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I've been praying for three people on my list. I don't call myself a prophet, but I'm going to tell you, Rodney Price is next. We're back with you, sitting with Pastor Junior Tucker, who is back in Jamaica, and he has a brand new church, also an album, and he's on a mission to win souls for Christ, especially from the entertainment industry, and it's our pleasure to have him on set this week. Nice to have you, Pastor. It's good to be here. It's good to be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm home because Jamaica's in my heart, always been in my heart. Yeah. Why, why, why have a church? But myself and Papa Son have always felt like we, even though we go out, we were called to really speak to the body of Christ, to really right. build the church and strengthen the believer. And you know, so the God has his, he's the master chess player, you know, he's the master player in the game and he moves the pieces where he wants to. Why is it always considered to be such a huge deal whenever a secular artist decides to move mm -hmm. into the, the Christian world? Well, it's, it's number one because we, we have, you know, our lives are public, you know, I mean, when I think about like my life, I mean, I was singing since I was five. So in terms of Jamaican, Jamaican people, I grew up with them. So it says like every move in my life that has been major, you know, people know. Mm -hmm. When I got married, when I did, you know, she's just 16 years old and don't test when I went away and came back. Dance all transition, every little transition I've been through in my life, mm -hmm. people know. So it's like, it's, it's, it's not, we're not privileged to have that thing to go away and sort ourselves and then correct things and then come forward. So everything in our lives, good and bad, gets displayed and that's also what, what our lives are like. So the influence you have in the, in the, in the secular world when you become a Christian, it, it brings that attention. In one of your interviews, you, you spoke about the fact that you want to now minister to your unsaved brothers and yeah. sisters in the entertainment industry. Yeah. How has that been going? It's been going really awesome. I mean, I've been praying, which is, I think is the first, we first major weapon. Mm -hmm. I've been praying for three people on my list, uh, you know, and one of them gave their life to the Lord the other day, as you, everybody in Jamaica know, lady saw. That's a, that's a lady that I've been praying for for 18 years. Mm -hmm. Her, um, Richie Stevens, and Barry Salmon. Anybody who know me know that I've spoken it publicly, privately. That's, that's whom I felt led and targeted to pray for. Bounty Killer is another person who I've been praying for also and just believe he is next. He's coming. He's next. <laughs> you you hear that killer? It's going to happen. People are not going to see it. Bounty Killer is coming. And I just believe that these people are, are, are going to come. And so I've, I'm a praying person, number one. Number two, I also reach out you know, to them and let them know I'm available. I don't chase after them because I don't want anybody to feel like, well, here comes Junior now saying, so can push Jesus down, with, you know, mm -hmm. down my throat and just bother me. So, but I'm there for them. They know that. They know if they need to, to talk, I'm there. I, I want to be that person, that brother, that is there privately for them. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for any, you know, to latch on to them for any notoriety or any pub, public, whatever, you know, whatever. I, I, I'm one of them who quietly is there for them. What do you think is happening now in dance hall, in the entertainment field? Do you feel something is about to happen more souls will be coming to christ yeah I, I think so because i i strongly believe that god has been talking from a long time ago it, it's a, it, you see and i and i want to, to to really take a stab at this myth that i because i hear people say it sometimes because I've, I've reached out to some of my dance hall friends and they said to me well my me not get my call in yet i hear that come on that come mm -hmm. on i don't get my call in yet. you get yours already man go and pray for me the truth is we all get our calling. If, if you're listening to my voice right now watching me, you're getting your calling. Because you're hearing the voice of God, meaning God using me, using you, mm -hmm. to speak to somebody. That's how he speaks in this earth. Because if you were to really hear his voice audibly, like God talk, you'd probably drop my panagon and dead. He's that powerful. What is happening now is a wave of obedience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More than a move of God, it's really a wave of obedience where saw and you know, Macadiamond and all these people who are coming or have, have come and don't make the public announcement yet, they are, they are at the point in their life where they have to surrender. But God's been calling. Bounty killer know God. Barry's know God. They, 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 Richie know God. They all know God and know that they have to give them life to God. They know that. So let me say this to you. Their actions, a, a, a ninja man, whoever you want to pick, their actions of how they live is not a rebellion against 
their love and they, they know that Father God is Father God and Jesus Christ is, is, is Lord. They don't have a problem with that. There are other factors now. Factors meaning like, what is my expectations? What is people's expectations? What do I, how do I interpret what is Christianity and what is not true Christianity? So like a lady saw and people like her now who struggled before coming. It's one of their struggles could be, I'm not saying this is from her directly, but this is one of the questions they would ask. Okay, Father, how do I feed myself after I make this transition? Right? Because you have to remember now, you know, to go from the queen of the dance hall where you're making X amount of money, right? Where you can live nice, family live nice, you're, you're, the, you're the top of top. If you come now and go say, boy, you're going to serve Jesus Christ and the gospel. is a Because I don't know where people get this thing from. Say that we're leaving dance hall to come gospel, go make more money. That is the craziest thing I ever hear in my life because gospel is far less money than, mm. than, than, than secular music. I mean, you, you know, people know, people know that. In the music industry, we know that. So for you to really make that transition, the Bible talks about counting the cost before you, 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 you build a house. Mm. So these are the struggles that people have. It's the a financial it, part of there's it. Fi there's financial. There's also your personal adoration. Somebody like Lady Saw. She's coming from a place where in her life it was such a struggle to be Marian Hall. She built Lady Saw, you know, to the place where when she walked on a stage, imagine you there, a Japan and you have 50,000 people that scream over you. That love where you feel, you know, from that, you know, Cancel everything in you know, your former life, you know, will make you feel like you're a dirt, you know. So then you're asking me, you know, to walk away from that and give my life to a God I cannot see and become less and low and disappear while He increase. Mm -hmm. That is a killing, ki that is humility, ki that is killing pride, killing the star superstar. In you. It's, a, it's a rough thing to do. And the thing is, we can all say, looking on, you know. It's, yeah, man, let's do it. I mean, go for it. Da, 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 da. But what How, do you say to somebody like Lady Saw now? What, what do I say to Lady Saw? Like, no, you have, to take, you have to take time to do this. It, it needs time, meaning where you can spend time with the... So the God who saves you is the God who's going to keep you. You need people around you who don't have an agenda towards you. They don't want you to be big up in them church. They're not going to put you when you come on the church in front row right. and put you up on a camera. And then show the people say, I'm Lady Saul's pastor, or and this is her church, and da, 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 and advertise her. You're in the next crusade right away. You don't need that. Mama, am I Mama, you know? Right through, 100%. So if she's a Christian or a non Christian, I'm my Mama, 100%. I just give thanks. I just know that the angels in heaven is rejoicing, you know, and I'm just rejoicing. So, but that's what I say, Mama, sir, just thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for answer to the call. You understand? Because the call is all that we get. So when we answer to it, it's just always a joy. So Mama, we're there for you. Marian, we have been friends for so many years, and I'm very happy for you because it is something that we've talked about for so many years. Um, being a Christian and knowing Jesus is a journey, not a lifestyle, and I think that you have basically owned that. I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Just um, stay serious, and I wish you all the best, and I'll soon catch up with you. That anything that is positive, I think, it's something that all of us as a nation need to get behind. Love is what Jamaica needs. So if you're about preaching positivity and love, Marion Hall, I wish you more and more success. I wish you more and more joy. I wish you more and more progress and growth. And I look forward to seeing what you bring to us as a performer in this new capacity. She's doing fantastic. She loves the Lord. I can, te I can tell there's a genuine, mm -hmm. you know, like him liquor dog. <laughs> <laughs> we, call it, we call it in church the Damascus Road experience and Paul get licked down off of the horse Lady Star get licked down trust me she loves God and I'm excited for her for what she's gonna do my job is to continue to pray for her like I've been praying for so many years and if she needs to talk to me I'm there she don't that's fine praise God we just keep going and we keep doing for the kingdom of God your, your church how is it doing and, and where do you worship my church is doing really awesome uh, my wife and I passed that church in um New Kingston Shopping Center. We meet in the um, Dr. Bird room at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Um, you know, it's a come as you are church. Me, our, our motto is no perfect people allowed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sinners only. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just come, you know, just, just come and walk with the Lord and, you know, follow us as we follow Christ, you know. 
we're a word-driven church and we are serious about worship as you know music in, is in me so when it comes to you know word and worship that's our key thing which is the name of the church by right. the way word and worship mm -hmm. church pastors are now into reality tv yeah, but you ask some really good can i tell you people <laughs> this girl is awesome can i tell you she's <laughs> something else you ask some questions that i don't get asked a lot of Preachers of LA, let me talk about that first. Preachers of LA, I really don't. When I do something, it, at the end of the day, did that draw you to God? The question I have for any man, preachers of LA, any one of them, they must stay in front of me to ask them this. When I read your book, Bishop, what? Pastor Junior Tucker, when I read your book, do I see Jesus? Or do I see you? When I watch your TV show, do I see Jesus? Or do I question your faith? Yeah. I think you've answered Believe the question. That, that. <laughs> Before you go, um, word of advice for the entertainment industry for those artists who are struggling um, to make that transition. Listen, this is not about you coming to gospel. Before I got saved in 1997, there was Lester Lewis, there was Grace Chillers. I come see them, still with them, they're still doing it for the Lord. And then when I leave here, somebody will come after me. Prodigal come after me. DJ Nicholas come after me, that Jermaine Edwards is, and um, what's, what's his name, Kevin Donzel, they're the man right now, they're, the, mm. they're like, woo, they're blowing up the place right now in gospel. Somebody will come after them. Gospel will always be here. When you're giving your life to the Lord, give your life to the Lord. It's a relationship personally with him mm -hmm. and you will never do it properly and do it for life until you have made that decision. Where you say, God, if I never sing another song, it's me and you for today. Forever. Forever. I'm going to die loving you. I'm going, out to, going to die for you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for having me. And I hope to have you again Anytime. on this show Anytime. with Bounty Killer. Oh, that, <laughs> trust me. With Rodney Price mm -hmm. sitting beside you. The first time he preaches mm -hmm. and gives his testimony, any women in the world, trust me, they're going to fly down and they're right in the front row. Because I'm good. telling you people, I'm not, I don't call myself a prophet. But I'm going to tell you, Rodney Price is next. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, yeah.